Wow, what a day. So I've had Ollie Ollerton here and Adam Lewis kitting out their bikes for this summer new adventure they got going on. <laughs> How are you? You're right. How long have you been there? <laughs> About five minutes out here. So I've had Ollie Ollerton here and Adam Lewis kitting out their bikes for this summer new adventure they got going on. If you want to know more about that, well then I'll put links down below to a YouTube channel called Breakpoint. So you've got to go on there and find out exactly why they're kitting their bikes out and the stuff that, that's coming in the very near future. But I just want to show you around the bike and, and show you what we've done to it. If, if you look at this bike here, this is Ollie's, but Adam's had exactly the same just here. I've got D3s down on the bottom. Right now they're on at 30%, but you can also see the OEM fog lights that are on there as well. And then we've got D7s as well for full beam. We've got a rear light on there and then we've got the sound bomb. So I'll give you a very, very quick run through exactly with it all working. So right now, this is just daytime running light, 30%. We can go to 100%, you can see we've got a D7s coming on at full blast along with the D3s as well. The reason we've done this is because Ollie was, was telling me that he wants to have really, really good lighting for the daytime so other riders can see him, other drivers on the road can see him. But at night time, they're gonna be going off the beaten track a fair bit and they wanna be able to light up the track so they can see. Uh, obviously way, in, way into the distance and they can do some really exciting adventures. And obviously the sound bomb as well. Let's give that a quick blast. If I push the wheel inwards with my yep. finger, three or four seconds, these will start to blink. There we yeah. are. And now I can go 10, 20, 30. So that's a daytime running light now. Yeah. Down to zero. If we go to full beam, I can now adjust the full beam. Mm. But why would you not want it on 100%? All those exactly. lumens. Yeah. So we leave that like that, go back to there. That's our setting. Leave that for four or five seconds and that will be set. All of that was done on the BMW switches on the handlebar. That is it's excellent. pretty cool, isn't it? You said that's it, but I think there's something more. Oh, there is more. There's some, so much more. <laughs> <laughs> so um, first of all, we've got the strobe. I don't know how this is coming out on camera, but if I flick the lights three times, one, two, three, we get the strobing. And then the best bit of all is the horn. You ready? <laughs> so we've got the sound bomb wow. going in there on the fourth circuit and we program the lights to strobe with the horn but the, i mean the value in that and the purpose in that is you know obviously a big danger on the road for any motorcyclist is other drivers yep, so yeah yeah i mean when it comes to that yeah. the flashing the visual Everything, audio yeah. the you yeah. know that is it's, it's going to give you a good chance of warning someone that you come in. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Uh, a, a lot of my customers who come to me uh, have had experiences where they've mm. had cars pull, pull out on them. They've had experiences where they've been on a roundabout and a car's come cut right across them and they just want that horn to say, Oi, mm. this is my lane, get out of the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Or it's a case of, you know, th these are so much more brighter than the, the light up here. Yeah. So you going down the road, minding yeah. your own business, doing 40, 50 miles an hour, you got a car coming out of a junction, they're just going to see you. Mm, yeah. It's not so much nighttime. It's great for us when we're on our bikes and we're going to go out there off the beaten track, pitch black. Yeah. We've got these, even the D3s are so powerful. Mm. We're going to light everything up. We can see everything. Yeah. It gives us confidence to ride faster if mm. we want to. Um, but it's the daytime stuff that is equally, if not more important, mm. so people can see us. No, it's fantastic. Awesome yeah. job. So obviously we came to you today and we asked you, we gave you, um, you know, our plans, what we're going to do in the future, yeah. and this is what you've advised for us. Is that something you do for people if someone comes to Absolutely, you? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you give that advice. Yeah. When people reach out to me, they're constantly asking, what is it I need? Mm. Because they can see we've got a big range of different lights. Yeah. They want to know what's best for me. I'm not going to go and sell someone a pair of D7s mm. if they're just daytime Commuting, use only. Yeah. If, they're, if they're just doing daytime stuff, they don't need that. They're spending too much money. Yeah. So, we're not going to advise that, although mm. it's nice when people do buy those from us. Yeah. <laughs> what you've got here is fit for purpose. I did mention, because you can see it on my bike, we have these uh, emblem discs. We yeah. sell loads of them. Really? But based on what you're yeah. doing, you, know, you want to get out there, you want to ride your bike. Yeah. It's not about looking pretty. It's you purpose. Wanna, it's fit for purpose. Yeah. 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 Well, brilliant.
Thank you so much, mate. And the pleasure. Watch this space. I think these guys are going to have a lot of fun. It's been a real pleasure working with them today, putting both their bikes out. In the meantime, subscribe to Breakpoint, stay safe behind bars, and I'll see you in the next video. Look at that. Hard day's work, hey Tom? The hard day. That's it, they're all kitted out. Look at my hair. What's going on in my hair? Look at my hair. Okay, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs>